Okay, so in this video, we'll be investigating another question involving the binomial theorem. The question is as follows. We have find A uh, if the coefficient of x to the 11th in the expansion of x squared plus 1 over ax to the 10th power is 15. So this may look a bit daunting at first, but uh, it becomes relatively simple if we're able to break down the question. So the expression we'll be looking at is this expression. And when we want to find the coefficient of an expression or of term within an expression, we want to first be able to locate the term. So that's what we're going to do right now. So using the general formula of a term, we have 10, choose r. In this case, n is 10. a, which is x squared, to the n minus r, which is 10 minus r, times 1 over ax to the power of r. So what we want to do is we want to isolate for the uh, parts of this expression that contain x. So first we want to remove which parts are not um, involving x. So 10 choose r is just going to be a number. And then we have, this can be expressed as ax to the negative r. So we can say a to the negative r. And then the rest of the equation is going to involve x. So we have x, we can distribute the 10 minus r, so we have x to the 20 minus 2r times x to the negative r. And this is the part that we're actually going to be interested in. So we have x to the 20 minus 2r, and then we can add it, so we have negative r equals x to the 11th. Since we're given the coefficient a is going to be 15 uh, for x to the 11th. So we want to find which term is going to correspond to the uh, x to the 11 uh, power within this expression. And we're going to do that uh, by setting the powers equal to each other because we know the bases are equal, so the powers must be equal as well. 20 minus 3r equals 11. 3r equals 9. r equals 3. So now that we solved for r, we can plug r as 3 into the equation. So what we have now is 10 choose 3. x squared 10 minus 3 times ax to the negative 3. And we can simplify this. 10 choose 3. x to the, this is going to be 2 times 7, so x to the 14th, times a to the negative 3 times x to the negative 3. So we can distribute the negative 3 uh, within this bracket to each of the uh, elements. So we have 14 minus 3, so it's going to be x to the 11th. So we have 10 choose 3, whoops, 10 choose 3, it's not 10 over 3, 10 choose 3 times a to the negative 3 times x to the 14 minus 3, which is just going to give us um, x to the 11. And we're interested in the coefficient of x to 11, which we're given to be 15. So we can set this equal to 15, this part here, since this is the coefficient of the x to the 11th term. So 15 equals 10 choose 3. We can do it on a calculator. So we want to plug in 10, go to math, Go to probability and then click number three, which is n choose three. Uh, n choose r. And in this case, it's going to be 10 choose three. So that's going to give us 120. 120 
times a to the negative 3, so we're going to say divided by a cubed, bring the a cubed over, a cubed equals 120 over 15, that's just going to be 8, so a equals the cubed root of 8, since we're not dealing with even numbers, this is just going to give us a equals 2, and that's going to be our final answer. So as you can see, uh, some binomial uh, theorem questions are a bit more complicated, so you have to do multiple steps in order to reach the answer. So for example, we first have to find the value of r uh, using this general term formula, um, and then we want to take the value of r, plug it back into the general term formula, and then uh, isolate the coefficient of the x to the 11th term, which we're given uh, to, uh, in the question to be 15. So we set it to the coefficient and then we solve for a. So it's sort of uh, multi-faced, multifaceted the question. So it's not some super linear uh, process of solving it. So the more you do these questions, the more you'll become familiar with common patterns uh, in order to tackle these kinds of problems. So I'll be showing you more uh, questions um, that are similar to this one or maybe more challenging than this one and hopefully we'll get to a point in which this becomes a very sort of routine um, kind of approach to solving.